here is a different kind of cat category. When we talk about cats, we always assume cat leers. And I thought I would show you another kind of cat. And these are my catacetums, or thereof. One is a Cygnotes, but um, yeah, just for a little, little bit of playing with words, I thought I'd show you the other cats. Uh, I used to have five, so that shows you that I have as yet to be successful with these guys. And on top of that, none of these that I do have, have bloomed for me. So what you see here is me getting to know them. It will be my second year with this trio. I have not changed any or decided to change any of the media setup because I wanted to see if maybe it was just the first year acclimatizing and then see what they do in my second year with them. So they're going to stay in their pots. Maybe I'm going to have to transplant one. The one on the left there, that's Fred Clark Yara. Is it After Dark Black Pearl? Or what is it? After Dark Black Pearl, yes. You can see it's time to wake up. And we have two new growths coming. There's also something else happening up there. Another little bulge going on, so I don't know what that is. But two definitive new growths coming. And you can see how high up they are off the media. So that's where I'm kind of thinking maybe I should lower it into the pot a little further. Or if I should just leave it. So that's the thought process that I'm toying with. Not decided yet, not decided yet. But because the pots aren't uh, filled up with bulbs, I actually had no ambition or anything to change over their media. I wanted to see this season and how they go before deciding on the PET method. Here I have, who are you? I did try to do my homework before recording. Signoches Jumbo Mickey. I attempted to remember the words, but I was unsuccessful. So Jumbo Mickey is here and actually quite a great two new growths from last year. And you can see it's waking up to three new growths. I have um, Osmocote in the bottom of the pots. As you can see, probably I did an overdose because the LECA is clearly compromised with some minerals. But maybe this year they can eat up what's, what's left in the pot. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. They are so close to the ground uh, there that they are very, that, that those roots are go in and I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna have any root issues with them going into the media. If I see them starting to burn, I'll remove the leca and replace it with fresh. All my cat leers, Listen to this, you see cats, cat leer? Ha, that's a Freudian slip. All my catacetums have little spiders growing in them, so I'm sorry if that triggers you, but uh, they are fantastic because I don't have any spider mite issues on these ever. I have never had a problem with spider mites. So these little guys that live in here, sometimes I see them busy, 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 I leave them. They will get a rude awakening when I start watering, but they'll come back. They're used to it from last summer. And over here, I think this is Jack of Diamonds, Catacetum Orchid Glade Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. So this one has a bit of water in the reservoir. Let me see if I can lift it out. Because the back bulb was starting to shrivel a bit too much for my liking and the other two that I lost I thought okay a little bit of shrivel here and there it doesn't matter so I didn't water even while it was dormant and I lost them I didn't uh, I guess I didn't manage the um, tipping point very well of when to give them a drink 
to tide them over as opposed to not watering so <laughs> when I saw that this was going down down and starting to shrivel and become a little bit uh, desiccated I put some water in the reservoir and it has plumped up a little bit not much but definitely there is an improvement from before so yeah that one is still fast asleep I thought I had something happening over here but clearly that has dried up as well there was two green bits here but they've dried up so there's nothing going on any further with this uh, jack of diamonds we'll see what it does I will see when it wakes up there's one thing I did experience in my first proper summer with these catacetum types is the amount of happy sap they produce dripping from the leaves and believe you me I'm the biggest fan of happy sap out there I have absolutely no issues with happy sap I think it is a great sign of a well hydrated orchid but there is something to be said about um, the marks it leaves on the leaves which do resemble spider mite marks I give you that it does look like spider mites that's why I was always on top of it and watching and watching I never saw any and uh, I think it was from the warmth of the sun uh, the warm air on those delicate leaves left those marks that is my opinion because it wasn't spider mites and besides the fact that every time you touch them move them and they brushed against you you had this goo on you <laughs> but um, yeah let's see what these do bit indecisive about here Mr. Fred Clark Yara not entirely sure I'm gonna watch the roots oh my goodness I've only just seen that here now with you coming back in on it there are roots coming out now out of this one right there the biggest one so we're we'll watching that very closely that is that's gonna be interesting if they make it all the way down they should I mean I've seen smaller catacetums get down into the root in, into the media and they were on higher up yeah the other ones um, the other one was a Fred Clark Yara as well and I only got a tiny little back bulb it started to grow a new growth up on the top and uh, I didn't have enough experience to um, take that bulb and lay it down into the media so that the roots could get into something so it was a weak little bulb to begin with with a new growth halfway up and uh, it just didn't have enough energy to push all the way out so that was my mistake and the other one like uh, like I mentioned it kind of just shriveled and died because I thought no don't water it don't water it and when I eventually did we had passed the point of no return so a little bit of a different cat aspect I'd, be like, I'd like to see some blooms, definitely. Everybody I see has such fabulous, fabulous blooms. Everybody is also remarking about the fragrances being sort of medicinal, minty, sweet, etc. And I would really love to be able to experience that. So maybe this year, maybe this year, we will be successful in getting them over. And Siliano just woke up. All afternoon he was quiet because I was watching some YouTube videos and the moment I get up and leave his vicinity he starts calling so yeah all right well thank you very much for watching and I will be doing some updates on these guys and uh, if you have any questions regarding this semi hydro method I can give you one year you know one year experience advice and uh, we can follow their progress together this year in this setup. So I hope that you enjoyed this a little bit. It is not much of a catacetum collection, but it is what I have. And let's see how they do. So uh, take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. And I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.